look forward to that time. I'm going to sing you another song, and then uh, uh, Marty, are you coming up? This is a song that Marty wrote. Well, actually, he didn't write the lyrics. David did. <laughs> this is Psalm 23. He wrote the melody. And it's always a refreshing thing for me to sing this song, especially after my testimony, because it's after I give my testimony that I always just feel so grateful that the Lord is my shepherd. And it's so true that when the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. I haven't got a want in the world right now. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me by the still waters. He understood it, that here I was fighting against my parents to find my own identity, and all my life I had spent trying to become like hey, other people. I gotta press oh, this. Oh, hey. Hey, everybody. <laughs> that was unprofessional. Hi. Hello. What am I, Mickey Mouse? Hello, everybody. Welcome to House of Worship. <laughs> you caught me by surprise. I was listening to the end of that uh, beautiful rendition of Psalm 23 by Debbie Boone. Hello, my name is Marty Getz, son of Albert and Florence Getz from Beechwood, Ohio. May they rest in peace. I'm married to Jennifer Yaffe Getz from Tenafly, New Jersey. We are house of worship. <laughs> Actually, we aren't. The Lord, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and, and we join together with you every week, Tuesday, 7 o'clock Central, and Friday, 7 o'clock Central. And now, we are about to enter into our Shabbats. Shabbats. But first, I'd like to sing this song, and maybe Jenny will join me, I don't know. Lord, we have come to this house where we love to sing your praises we lift our hearts and our hand you look beautiful to the king of all the ages 
Hear us, Lord, we pray. Come, Yeshua, come. Come fill this place. Meet us here. Meet us here, Lord. We are few, but we are strong when you surround us. Meet us here. start with something else but I'm so glad I started with this you know why I like when you're sitting next to me well, and I think people like this song it's kind of our it's become our theme song yeah. for house of worship and you don't have to mention that Dan is no longer with us okay Dan Marks Dan Marks Dan Marks wrote this song he did but he's no longer with us <laughs> Lord we I didn't mean to laugh at that I'm just saying I know. I'm laughing at you wait hold on one more time Okay, here we go. <laughs> Lord, we have come to this house where we love to sing your praises. We lift our hearts and our hands to the King of all the ages. Hear us, Lord, we pray. Come, Yeshua, come. Come fill this place. Meet us here. But we are strong when you surround us. Meet us here. That was good. Meet us here, Lord. As we gather in your name. As we gather in your name. As we gather in your name. Meet us here. Bye, honey. Well, since we had um, Debbie Boone, that was Debbie Boone, the daughter of Pat Boone. Pat Boone, uh, many of you know, is a great uh, singer from the 50s and 60s, but he's still going strong even now. And he had a lot of hit songs, but the one thing that I think he just loves is that he's also responsible for writing the lyrics to music by a man named Ernest Gold. And this is called Exodus. Because our hearts are always with our people, Israel. On this Shabbat, Lord, please free the hostages. And also, make our people hostages to your love. Lord God, as you have led us taken us captive by your love, Lord. Take our people Israel captive through your love and use this war to bring their hearts home to you. Amen. This land is mine. God gave this land to me. This brave and ancient land to me and when the morning sun reveals her hills and plains, then I see a land where children can run free. So take my hand and walk this land with me. And walk this lovely land with me. 
though I am just a man While you are by my side With the help of God I know I can be strong of sun and song and this is a world of good and plenty humble and proud and young and strong and this is the place where the hopes of the homeless and the dreams of the lost come behind this is the land that heaven blessed and this lovely land is mine. Oh Lord, put our people and our land on the hearts of all your people all over the world, oh God. Please do that. Oh, what if the earth is dry and barren? What if the morning sun is mean to us? This is a state of mind we live in. We want it green, and so it's green to us. For when you have wonderful plans for tomorrow, somehow even today looks fine. So what if it's rock and dust and sand? This lovely land is mine. of the homeless and the dreams of the lost come behind oh this is the land that heaven blessed and this lovely land is mine this lovely land is mine And walk this land with me And walk this golden land with me Though I am just a man While you are by my side With the help of God I know I can be strong land our home if I must fight I'll fight to make this land our own until I die this land is mine I'm going to play this and then we're going to light our candle Sorry I was playing a little hard there, kids. I kind of got carried away. <laughs> Lord, you are our God, Redeemer of Israel. Lord, you are our God. There is no other no savior but you for you have done wonderful things from of old you are faithful and true and you'll 
come to your temple to rule and to reign. The nations will tremble and fear. But all of your people will say in that day, This is the Lord, we have waited for him. And at last, he is here. Behold, our God is near. He's coming quickly. How very soon he will appear. He's the beginning, and he has no end. Every word he has spoken, he'll do. For his name, it is faithful and true. And he'll come to his temple to rule and to reign. The nations will tremble and fear. But all of his people will say in that day, This is the Lord, we have waited for him. And at last he is here. him he'll come the sun and the moon disappear for the light of the world has returned for his own he is the Lord we have waited for him and at last he will come to his temple to rule and to reign the nations will tremble and fear oh but all we his people will say in that day this is the Lord, we have waited for him, and at last, he is here, he is here, he is here, Yeshua is Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, thank you. It's Shabbat. It's Shabbat. And uh, we just enter in, Lord. Lord, I'm not going to apologize for a couple wrong chords. I'm no. going to lift it up to you and say, Lord, there we are. <laughs> I transposed one of those songs this week, a half step up for an engagement that we're doing. And I think my brain was remembering the chords from where I changed it. Yeah. So that's what happened. Yeah, make but sure you get that right here. Okay, honey. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Yes. Did I ruin the song? No. Okay, good. Okay, come on in, honey. Let's so uh, let candle. me give you a little idea about what's going on yeah. here in Nashville. Yeah. Years Please, ago, yeah. years ago, Marty started a group called Bridge to Israel. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Pastor Don Finto, who is 93 years yeah, old now, 93. Um, he was pastor of Belmont Church. Author of a book called Your, Your People, people Shall, Shall Be, Be My, My people. people. And he was pastor of Belmont Church back in the 70s and 80s and 90s when Amy Grant and Michael W. Smith were just little worship leaders at this church. But his name is Don Finto. And a woman named Patricia Heaton, who was... Um, Everybody Loves Raymond. Everybody Loves Raymond. After October 7th, she was so incredibly moved that she and Elizabeth Doros started a ministry called um, Q. I don't even know what it is. It's, it's like initials. Yeah, for October 7th. October 7th. But um, their desire is to have the <sighs> church come around Jewish people and yes. support them and yes. encourage them mm -hmm. and let them know that they're not alone. Mm -hmm. So um, they're having a, a service in Nashville 
and they're going to be um, inviting the Jewish community and the Christian community. Mm-hmm. And Marty is going to sing that song, mm-hmm. um, Milk and Honey. Right. A, a half step up. A half a step, which is, which is what he was practicing. And also this Thursday, my son-in-law, Joshua, who has worked with the Israeli consulate mm-hmm. years ago in California, he has arranged for us to see the October 7th film Mm -hmm. the 47 minute horrible yeah tragic a film that my daughter has seen and joshua has has seen seen, that 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 the idf made and they're going to it's going to be shown did you see it no i didn't but they're going to show it here at the belcourt theater Mm -hmm. in oh maybe i'm not supposed to say that but in Mm -hmm. any case it's not open to the public it's by invitation only so don't just show up if you mm. want. But anyway, so we're, we're, we're planning on seeing that. And, yeah, uh, it's going to be an interesting It's going to be interesting. I, you know, I, I look at horrible things on the internet about what Hamas did to the Jewish people. And it's because I do not ever want to forget. Hmm. And the world should never turn their backs yes, on Lord. this. Yes, Lord. So um, it's with that hmm. in mind that we... Remind ourselves. I mean, I have a huge Holocaust book library. My, I spent years reading books on the Holocaust, mm-hmm. never ever thinking that it would happen again. But mm-hmm. here we are. Here we are. So with all that, we say thank you, God, for Shabbat. Yes, yes Lord. Thank you that you set us apart. Yes. Not just Jewish people, but no. anyone that wants to celebrate the Shabbat, anyone that is grafted in. Yeah, all any, the sons and daughters all, of Abraham. All who are grafted into the vine mm-hmm. with, the, with, with Israel, we, we appreciate everybody mm-hmm. and we thank you. Because we're all brothers and we sisters. We are. We're all one. Yeah, we one are. One in body. Messiah. Right. One body. Yeah. One body. Mm-hmm. God brought us together. He broke down the wall. Mm-hmm the partition wall that divided us, Mm -hmm. and he brought us together by his blood, Mm -hmm. by his sacrifice, by his life. Yes, he did. But he didn't end there. He rose from the dead. Mm -hmm. And so if you believe in Jesus, Mm -hmm. that he is the Lamb of God that took away your sins, then you are born again. Mm -hmm. And you can enter into a relationship Mm -hmm. with Jesus, with Yeshua. And you're grafted mm-hmm. into the vine that is Israel. We're the vine. He's the vine. We're mm-hmm. the branches. The branches were Israel. Is that how it works? Because he's the vine. The, 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 he's talking about the tree. The tree yeah, is... Yeah, the fig tree. Is Israel. Yeah, he's talking about the... the yeah, he's talking about that in, uh, in, in, in Romans 11. But then in Matthew, he says, you know, I think it's Matthew. He says, when you see this, this, this tree bloom again mm-hmm. um this or when you see the tree broken this generation will not pass away until when when it's restored that generation will not pass away right until he returns so yeah. i believe that he's gone he might come back in our day because yeah. we're that generation mm-hmm. i didn't mean to go into that that's all right sweetheart Jenny has been, ever since October 7th, she's a different person, different woman. Well. I mean, not different, but no. you're, you're, everything's coming out. I'm more in tune. You are, you are, honey. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father. The olive tree. I shouldn't have said The thing. olive tree. See, we, there's three things we were mixing up there. There's the vine. Yes. Which is the Lord says, uh, he's, I he's am the, the true vine. vine. Right. He's the and vine. And then there's the fig tree. Which went, the fig tree is the picture of Israel in the end times. Okay. You know what I mean? He cursed the fig tree. Yeah. And he said, you should bear fruit no more. He was basically cursing in a sense that, 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 that leadership, he wasn't cursing them, but he was saying basically that the time is up for our people in that in that season in that, era, in that season in that because season. we did not recognize the time of his visitation but what you were referring to was the olive tree yes that we as Jews we are part of that olive tree yes non i mean people who believe in Jesus yes. who are sons and daughters of Abraham yes. they are grafted into that olive into tree into the olive tree right which is has its roots in the promises to Abraham Isaac and Jacob yes. and when we Jews we ha- I always tell people this because some people say we're going on. Well, I will play a lot of music after this, but uh, people say 
oh, Marty, I wish I were Jewish because we're just grafted in and you're part of the original olive tree. Well, I have to tell you, we have to be regrafted in. Yeah. Grafted in again. When we get when right. we when we accept Yeshua, right. we too so are all, grafted back into that. Amen. We're country. all in the same boat. We're all in the <laughs> same boat. We're all connected to the but same tree. But it is an tree. olive tree that it, that we are the natural branches to. It's yeah. just the way it is. Yeah. But hey, there's no preferences in the kingdom of None. heaven. God None. loves us all with the heart of a father. Amen. Is that enough? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and with that, with that, we're welcome in the Shabbat, the Sabbath. Amen. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kichanu bo mitzvotav v'tzivanu l'hadlik ner l'hadlik ner Shel Shabbat. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, mm. who invites us to light the lights of Shabbat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. And we take the cup. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech Alam Borei Peri Amen. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. And who's the vine? Yeshua. And who are the branches? We are. We are. Amen. Amen. L'chaim. L'chaim. To lives. Mm. <laughs> L'chaim. L'chaim. Mm-hmm. And we take the challah, which is a whole foods challah this week. Whole and foods. And if you were with us last... <laughs> la, if you were with us it's last... It's more expensive than last the public. Week, Sammy... Ate out the entire sure bottom did. of our he hollow sure last did. week before mm-hmm. we started. He so. hollowed it out. He hollowed it out. <laughs> so, Baruch Atarani Eloheinu Melech Haolam Hamotzi Lechem Min Haaretz. Amen. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, God King, King of the, the universe, universe, who gives us forth the bread, bread from, from the, the earth. earth. Yes. Amen. And who's the bread of life? Yeshua. Yeshua. Amen. Uh-huh. And we will never forget it. Here, honey. You can take a little bit of this. Hey, I think we should sing our song. What song? We Being Many. Oh, gosh. Why don't you come I around the side sing. here? Come on over here. Because okay. Debbie Boone was uh, on our on our roll-in tonight. Uh, Misha puts those together. And uh, we, had, we our first cassette tape, tape remember, honey? Oh, yeah. Cassette tape back in 85. It had this song on it. I've been singing it with Jenny for years, and then Debbie recorded it for us. Sorry, hon. And, and we me, and, and Misha has been singing it with Marty. And my voice is not that great. I mean, it's like... So Honey, no excuses. I will, I will do Remember, my best. Remember, I'm not supposed to apologize, and you not, don't apologize okay. either. <clears throat> we're going we're gonna to believe that you all out there... Just sec- up- accept us warts and all. <laughs> all our imperfections, all have, our mistakes. I have bread in my teeth. <laughs> this is a wild night. I know. There's all kinds of crazy stuff it's going on. It's because we're going out of town tomorrow. That's what it is. And we don't, re- and, and, and it's a lot of stress. So we're releasing. So after nine, <laughs> after nine, 10, and 11, the chapters in Romans, where he talks about Israel. And he talks about all of those things you were just discussing. He comes to this conclusion and he just said, you know, we all are one in Yeshua. That was the passion of Paul, the apostle, that we'd all be one. The distinctions between Jew and Gentile were done away with at the cross in terms of our place in God's kingdom. But the kingdom is Israel and the nations together. That's the picture. So let's sing that together, shall we? From Romans 12, verse 5. Want to sing it with me? And we, being many, are one body in Christ, in Christ, and every one members of one another, loving each other. With God as our Father, who loves us as a mother loves her newborn child. We are his brothers.
ride Taken from his side When blood and water fell From the broken heart of Israel See the Lord provide The precious Lamb who died The great I Am who cried Eli, Eli, lama azav tani Abba El Shaddai to God I give my life Let's sing again With God as our Father, who loves us as a mother loves her newborn child. One more time. We are his bride, taken from his side, when blood and water fell from the broken heart of Israel. See the Lord provide the precious Lamb who died, the great I Am who cried, Eli, Eli, Lama Zabtani, Abba El Shaddai to God, I give my life. We're loving each other, honey. We're loving each other. With God as our Father, who loves us as a mother loves a newborn child, who loves us as a mother loves a newborn child. I've sung this recently, but I'm just going to do it again. Is that okay? What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry, Lord. All to you in earnest prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, Lord. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry, Lord, everything to you in prayer have we trials and temptations <laughs> is there trouble anywhere we should never be discouraged we take it to you lord in prayer Can we find a friend so faithful Who will all our sorrows share? Yeshua, you know our every weakness We take it to you, Lord, in prayer I'm just going to speak out right now Interesting. Lord, I just sense tonight that you're calling us all into a deeper, deeper walk with you as, as some of the church, some of the church traditions celebrate Lent. I didn't mention it last week. 
We don't really have a, a, a celebration of that in our household per se, but we recognize that a lot of the church traditions do lead to that. And I just sense that the Lord is calling us to a deep place of prayer, intercession. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you kids, I sense the Lord drawing me even tonight. It's funny. We started House of Worship and I can actually feel the Lord kind of slowing us down <laughs> and just saying, just, just rest. Just rest. Don't perform. I'm talking to myself right in front of you. I can't believe this. Don't perform. Don't try to put on a show. Just sit in my presence and worship. Yes, Lord. I really sense that. I do, Lord. So let's enter in together. For are we weak and heavy laden? We're cumbered with a load of care. Precious Savior, still our refuge. We take it to you, Lord, in prayer. Sometimes our friends despise, forsake us. So we'll take it to you, Lord, in prayer. In your arms you'll take and shield us. We will find a solace there. We'll take it to you, Lord, in prayer. anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Messiah Yeshua finally brethren whatever things are true Whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of a good report, if there is any virtue, if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. And all you've seen in me, says the Lord, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. Yes, Lord. Blessed Savior, you have promised You will all our burdens bear May we ever, Lord, be bringing All to you in earnest prayer For soon in glory bright on cloud and over there will be no need for prayer rapture praise and endless worship will be our sweet portion there be bright on cloud and there will be no need for prayer praise and endless worship will be our sweet portion there 
get to the Lord in prayer. We take it to you, Lord, in prayer. Someone mentioned this song today. It's a good song to sing right now. In the light of what I was just saying, song by our late friend Brian McLean. He sang, he sang, just receive all that he has. Don't be afraid. Just open up your heart. For you know he loves you so he wants for you to be so blessed right from the start so as you have received Messiah Yeshua the Lord. So walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Don't let your pride get in the way. Just step aside. And let his spirit guide for you know he will not do any more than you allow. So won't you trust him now and out and receive just receive we can't give what we haven't first received just receive we think so much about what we need to do but we need to receive Help us on this Shabbat, Lord, to receive from you. it again. Oh Lord my God. This thing we pray, your spirit now would fall upon this place. Oh Lord just now, 
according to your word, according to your love, according to your grace, we for this as well. I was thinking about this. We were talking about this last night, Jenny and I were. We were talking about how the words of this man named Martin Luther, late in his life, he really, really, really began to speak out against the Jewish people. Some people think it's that he was ill. Some people think he was just frustrated because he wanted them to come to Jesus and they were just so tough. <laughs> I can tell you, we're a tough people. But I was thinking about how his words were used actually even by Adolf Hitler himself to come against the Jewish people. So for that reason, I could say I could say to myself, I'm not going to sing a song by Martin Luther after what he said about our people. But guess what? <laughs> We're all imperfect. Martin Luther, he had a blind spot about that. But if it weren't for him and the other reformers who basically said, in Christ alone, so to speak, through scripture alone, by faith alone. If it weren't for them, the word would not have gotten spread about in such a way that in 1978, that word of faith could come to a man like me, 25 years old, having come from New York City, hearing the gospel preached at the Vineyard Christian Fellowship, preached in that kind of freedom that the reformers had brought us. So I guess that's where Romans 8.28 comes in. God, you cause all things to work together for good for those who love you and are called according to your purpose. So in the kingdom, maybe this Martin will have a talk with that Martin. <laughs> And I'll be able to say to him, you, you, got, you wrote one beautiful, wonderful song. And I hope you see now, <laughs> you might have been wrong about our people, Israel. That's okay. I've been a, wrong about a lot of things myself. This is where love and humility come in, isn't it, kids? In these days, love and humility. I was talking to my friend Mary about that today. Those are the helmet and the sword of our, that's the armor, that's part of the armor we need. Love and humility in the days ahead. For a mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never failing. Our helper, he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. And still our ancient foe does seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great 
and armed with cruel hate. On earth is not his As cool that may be, Christ Jesus, it is He. Lord, serve out His name from age to age the same, and He must win the battle. sense that I can even tell you tonight I'm even sensing in my life and Jenny's life a little bit of opposition I sometimes because of all the great things God is doing I sometimes forget that we are in a supernatural battle we are not home yet Yeshua is not home yet there is still a war going on in Israel, and not only in Israel, but in the heavenlies, over us, and over God's people. Open our eyes, Lord. Open our eyes to see the battle that we are in, and help us fight it with the power of love, the power of humility, the power of your name, Yeshua. And though this world with devils filled should threaten to undo us, we will not fear, for God has willed His truth to triumph through us. That prince of darkness grim tremble not for him his rage we can endure for lo his doom is sure one little word shall fail him one little word shall fail him Yes, Lord. 
that word above all earthly powers. No thanks to them abide. The spirit and the gifts are ours through him who with us sighed. Let goods and kindred go, this mortal life also, the body they may kill, God's truth abideth still, his kingdom is forever. Yes, let goods and kindred go, this mortal life also, the body they may kill, God's truth abideth still, his kingdom is forever, his kingdom is forever, your kingdom is forever, your kingdom is Psalm 13. How long, O oh Lord, will you keep hiding your face? Please answer me, how long, O oh Lord, must I see the enemy lift himself up against me? But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. Because he has dealt kindly with me before. He has dealt kindly with me. Hear me, O oh Lord, won't you consider my sorrow? Hear me, O oh Lord, won't you enlighten my eyes that I may see Hear me, O oh Lord, must I see my enemy say he has triumphed over me? No, but I, I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing, sing. Sing to the Lord, I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord, I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord, because he has dealt kindly with me before, he has dealt kindly with me. Before, when I went astray, well, I learned your way, for I was chastened by your word and your statutes. 
shall be my song while I wait in patience no matter how long how long how long I will sing 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 to the Lord I will I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord Because He has dealt kindly with me before He has dealt kindly with me How long, O oh Lord, you've dealt kindly to play this song uh, this one I I took this the key a half step down <laughs> so with no apologies for my mistakes before I apologize not ahead of time on this one but I just want to finish with this I just felt this was a word you know our, our friend uh, Aaron Schust he wrote a song and he he, he spoke of Psalm 91 and he called it the shadow of Shaddai. I just love the way he phrased that, the shadow of Shaddai. Shaddai, El Shaddai. You know when the Jewish people, you know when, uh, what? Oh my goodness, Jenny has to pray. Well, we'll go a little over, but go ahead. Come, No, 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 come on and pray, I'll finish with it. So, so I've been listening to House of Worship on my headphones, and what you're seeing is probably about a minute, maybe not quite a minute, 45 seconds um, uh, delayed. So Marty's over here singing, and I've got my headphones on over there, and I'm worshiping, and, and it's not even in sync with what he's doing because, because I'm already, I'm behind him. Anyway, that, that's irrelevant. Okay, so I just want to pray for Jonathan Burnus again oh, tonight. Yes. The good news is that um, his numbers are better. It's not as bad as they thought, but because of this liver transplant, he really needs continued prayer. So would you please continue to pray for Jonathan Burnus and lift him up. He had a liver transplant, for those of you who don't know, and his body is not rejecting that liver, but yeah. there are things that have been going a little bit askew. So Lord, we lift up Jonathan to you and we ask in Yeshua's name, that you would continue to heal his body and allow his body to, to absorb and receive this truly dramatic surgery that he's gone through. God, just give him all the strength, increase his appetite. Father, we just ask you to touch him and every single cell of his body, please bring healing. And I noticed, Lisa Greenspan, this is for you. I noticed on YouTube that you need prayer. So I just want to lift up Lisa Greenspan. Lord, we lift up Lisa, and we ask you to encourage her by your Holy Spirit, because it is truly your spirit that drives us and that delivers us and encourages us. So Father, fill her with your Holy Spirit that she would know how much you love her and that you care for her. And I pray that for all of you who are watching tonight. Anybody that has an orphan spirit or feels unloved hmm. by God, it's a lie. Jesus loves you so much. He gave his life for you. Um, years and years... And, where are you going, Marty? What? Well, back up. Oh, God. <laughs> Years and years, I would say probably close to 40 years ago, 
Um, I was driving in my car. I've shared this story with you before, but it was before Marty and I were married, and we were in a very on-off relationship, and I was feeling very insecure. And I was driving along on a road in Los Angeles, and it, it, right by Lowman's. Anyone remember Lowman's clothing store for women? It's a discount clothing store before TJ Maxx. And I heard the Holy Spirit say to me, or I heard a voice mm -hmm. say to me, I didn't know it was the Holy Spirit. I heard, in my head I heard, I will never love you more than I do now. And at first I was taken aback thinking, what? I can't do, I can't do anything that will make you love me more. I can't do better than this. And then I realized that what he was saying was, there's nothing I can do to make him love me more than he does. He loves me as mm. much as he will ever love me. And he loves you as much as he will ever love you. There is nothing that you can do to earn his love except believe on his son and receive his son. That's all you can do to, to receive the love of God. So I just wanted to share that with you because I think that's important to know. There's just trust in the love of God. Trust in the love of God because he loves you dearly. Um, oh, and uh, we will be with you Tuesday. We will be with you Friday. If you're not on our mailing list, join our mailing list so that you'll know when we are with you. And we're so grateful for you. So grateful. Thank you. Honey, Do we are we at liberty to pray for Angela without any details? Yes, yes, yes. Just, and you uh, pray. Uh, uh, I don't uh, know uh, how uh, much uh, we're allowed to well, share. Well, our friend Angela has a rare form of cancer in... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. In... Yeah, you, yeah. In her rectal area, and it's it, and she might have to have a full blown yeah, well, colostomy bag. Yeah. But we want to pray, and let us pray, please, for yes, Angela. Lord. Yes. Lord, I lift up Angela to you, and I pray in Yeshua's name that you would heal, heal her, heal, Lord, heal, heal her Lord. in Jesus' Adonai name. Adonai Rapha, heal Lord her, is our Jesus. healer. Heal her, Lord. Healer, in Yeshua's Lord. Yes, name, Lord. heal her. Yes, and bring Lord. peace to her body. Bring absolute peace to every part of her Amen. being in Yeshua's name. Amen. Thank you, guys. I'm ch I'm I'm pulling an aud I'm calling an audible, since Debbie, in the Roland, sang a song called "The Lord Is My Shepherd." <laughs> Psalm 23, actually, she called it. I'm gonna finish with this. I'll do the other one some other time. Maybe it's best that I don't risk playing songs that I've transposed on the night of house of worship. <laughs> but I, she sang Psalm 23. I wrote that song right at the beginning of my walk with the Lord. And I don't know how far I am from the end of my walk with the Lord on this earth. I hope I live to be 120 like Moses, with my eye not dim and my strength intact. I hope that for you too. So I'm gonna finish with this. Thank you for putting up with us tonight. We're a little scattered because we're going out of town tomorrow. Please pray for us. We're going to be at a church in Bonita Springs, Florida. So we're going to be, it's a Presbyterian church, Presbyterian church of Bonita Springs. And uh, pray for us on Sunday, if you would. We'll be there the whole day. I mean, for the whole morning with our friends Gordon and Carol. So... Thank you for always being so loving to us. Thank you for all your gifts, for all your prayers, for all your words of encouragement. You cannot imagine what it means to us. So, I've said enough. Let's the, let the word of God speak. Lord, you're my shepherd. You meet every need. I find green pastures when your voice I hear. By the still waters you lovingly lead, Shepherd of Israel. And in the presence of my enemy, A banqueting table you spread out for me. My cup runs over, your oil flows free. 
shepherd of Israel. Lead me, my Lord and my God. Use your staff and your rod. You know how I go astray, how I get lost. How I lose my way when the darkness is beckoning me Or I'm bound by some dark memory But when I follow you, I look back and see Your goodness and mercy are following me For your name's sake, I make your path my own. I'm part of your flock, and I walk not alone. Still others you call, till you bring us all home. Shepherd of Israel, oh, lead me, my Lord and my God. Staff and your rod, you know how I go astray, how I get lost, how I lose my way when the darkness is wrapped around me, or I'm charmed by some voice I should flee. But when I follow you, I look back and see. Your goodness and mercy are following me. And oh, what a miracle. How you restore my soul. Once a sad lost lamb, now safe in your arms I am. your rod you know how i go astray how i get lost how i lose my way but you find me though far i may be you remind me so tenderly that when i follow you i'll look back and see your goodness and mercy are following me. Yes, when I follow you, I look back and see. Only goodness and mercy are following me. For this reason I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that's you, that's I, that's Jenny, that's all of us, that he may grant us according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man, especially now that Messiah would dwell in our hearts by faith that we being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all the saints who have gone before, who are in the earth now, who are coming up behind us. What is the length and breadth and depth and height to know the love of Messiah, which passes knowledge, that we may be filled 
filled like a balloon inflated that rises up into the heavens, filled with all the fullness of our living God. And now, to him who is able to do to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask, all we can think, all of the glory. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can hope, all we can dream, all of the glory be to The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give to you his peace. And more than you can ask, more than you can think, more than you can hope or dream, all glory be to you. Just for fun, we'll leave you with this, kids. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat 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 Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom One more time Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom, enter, enter into his rest, then take your rest in sleep, and then awake to the rest of your week. We love you, we thank you for joining us. We will see you, Lord willing, 
on Tuesday after President's Day. Thank you, kids. Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos. Bye, honey. I'll see you in a few minutes, okay? Bye. Thanks for your mercy on all my mistakes. <laughs>